Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of South Brunswick is brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. In battle, it's better to burn ships than bridges. After its first losing season since 2009, South Brunswick and coach John Viata parted ways after just three years and a 13-13 record. However, the Vikings look to a familiar face to fill the role in 2022. Joe George, who coached the Vikings to three sectional titles from 2012 to 2018, jumped at the opportunity when the position became available, and his impact on the field can be felt already. Well, I got to tell you, Neary, uh, I am really excited. Uh, I've been excited since I came back around the first of the year. So it's great to be back uh, as we toured today and said great facility, great kids. And uh, we got just about the entire staff back. So really excited, ready to get going. The whole culture has changed. Um, Viking football is back. Uh, just to have fun. I feel like the past couple years we got caught up in all the flashy stuff. And we just want to go out there and play. Coach George is coming for you. It's been amazing, you know. He's a good, he's a great coach. He has great energy, great culture, great vibes, all of that. It's been great. The most, everyone's been here. Like there's no slacking off. Everyone's just been 100% focused on winning the, winning every game this year. It's always been a, a, a big part uh, of of my really coaching career. My two sons with me, also the staff, several former players. Um, the school spirit here, the support uh, in school, the faculty, the staff, administration. So yeah, I, I miss that part and, and it's exciting to be back. With a talented senior class returning, Viking Nation will have much to look forward to. Vince Jardulo stepping into his third season as varsity quarterback has familiar playmakers like receivers Kyrie Summers and Damarion Potts to throw to. With a rivalry matchup with North Brunswick slated for opening night, South Brunswick looks to snap a three-game losing streak against the Raiders to kick off their tough Group 5 Big Central Conference schedule. Uh, it's great. Um, finally having fun again with football, so glad to be out here. Finishing every play, you know, no half-assing. Got to play all four quarters. Everybody's coming more as a team. Everybody's working together just to get better, 1% better. Not even 1% anymore, it's just to get better. So that's what we've been uh, sticking to. Right, we're going to be a physical team, and then we're on the rise. That's pretty much it. Just stay tuned. I have the offer one from Temple, and I'm trying to get more. But as a team, I want to. I want the whole team to get offers if that's possible. I want to, you know, shine bright for all of us, and you know, become like I said before, a collective unit. Hey, we on the rise. We coming. You know, y'all better watch out. Uh, I'm just trying to win. You know, the last couple of years have been a couple rough, been rough. So. We just try and win every one one game at a time, and if you win one game at a time, you know where that ends up. You win a chip. So, well, we're we're undefeated right now. So I, I mean that that speaks well. But uh, listen, it's uh, time will tell. I think we're getting better each day. I think we have after one scrimmage, we got a lot of work to do. But that's probably most coaches going to tell you the same thing. So we're excited on September first. We open up. We have to travel up to North Brunswick, which you know will be a great test for us. For Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Neri Rodriguez. One, two, three, Vikings! Here we go, man. Here we go.